Hey everyone, Pinchy Al here, and on today's episode, we are going to be doing brand new levers for the Royal Enfield Hunter 350. So let's get to work because it's Pinchy Al's Garage. Today's episode is actually brought to you by Hitchcock's Motorcycles. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And on the link below, hit them up, check out their website, make an account, and order some stuff for your Royal Enfield because they got everything. Believe me or not, it's good stuff. So without further ado, let's get back to work, all right guys? So we're gonna be installing the levers that we ordered, I'm actually not sorry, but yeah, the levers that we ordered from Hitchcock's Motorcycles. Now, this is the brake, and then we got the clutch on the other side. We're going to show you guys the brake is because it's the easiest one to install first. Uh, there's an Allen here, and I believe there's a, yep, there's a little nut down below. Now, like on my previous DIY on Royal Infields, I believe, and I'm going to be, correct me if I'm wrong, but once this comes out, there should be a little plunger that comes out, and it might be on a spring, but we'll see when we get to that point. So with a four millimeter Allen, and a 10 millimeter uh, socket, you're gonna go down below and pretty much work them. Now you can use one to hold and then one to actually remove. There you guys can see that. All right, you'll see. There's this guy. Don't lose this guy, all right? That's a nylock uh, nut right there. I'm gonna get this one going. Now, even though you take it all the way out, you'll see like this guy, he's in. He's still threaded all the way through, okay? Once you get it to the point where you can grab it and then twist it by hand, take your time, don't drop it. Now we're gonna wiggle the handle out. Okay, you'll see here there's some grease on there. I recommend pulling some of that grease out and applying it onto your new handle, all right, or lever. So these are the handles that we ordered, and we ordered the short kit. Here's the part number 92574J from Hitchcock's Motorcycles. Beautiful set. Um, with adjustable levers so you can do full adjustment um, these are not greased so we recommend you pre-grease them um, so from the old stuff here if you don't have any grease laying around use your handy dandy allen wrench that you just used and scrape the residue from that because there's a decent chunk in there and slap inside of that Kind of want the whole inside of this thing nice and greased up. Uh, this is just so the dang thing won't seize and cause premature wear on the actual lever itself. Um, on my previous video, you can also spray some white lithium grease. It is beneficial uh, for this, so it's up to you. Now you'll see here, there's a little plunger sticking out. I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to leave it alone because it will like pop out if you um, like don't like how, what's the word? Um, if you don't fiddle around, fiddle around with it too much. So make sure it, it sinks, it lines up with the actual plunger that you have from the factory. And then go back down. Remember this is threaded as well so it won't go in just by pushing it down we're gonna go all the way down and you'll bottom out okay and then you want to give it a little tug what you want to do is test this test if that feels right for you you want to leave the allen wrench in there you're going to need to counter hold it put that 10 millimeter nut back on by hand and 
and then just give it a little tighten. Make sure this still has decent amount of play in it. If you feel uncertain and you're just like, you know what, I'm just gonna tighten it some more, do it. It won't hurt you. Just make sure you have good play here and then you have more adjustment here. I like them nice and short. Um, I have big hands, but I like my hands to rest a lot. I rest on the throttle more than I do because you're not really supposed to be resting your hand on the brake. You're supposed to rest your hand on the clutch. So the fact is that this has full adjustment. Um, so if you have really large hands, you can reach out better. Or if you have nice short hands and you just prefer nice and short, full adjustment. And they look so much better than the factory part. Look at that. Massive difference between what it looks like then and now. And they also have different colors. I like the stealthy black look. It just looks so much nicer. Now we're gonna work on the clutch. So the next one again, like I was saying, is the clutch lever. It's a little bit more involved, but not too bad. First thing you have to do is get an eight millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter wrench. Boop. And what you're gonna do is put your eight mil on top, your 10 millimeter wrench on the bottom, break them loose and then just hold them and pretty much counter hold and then until it comes off. You want this completely off, unbolt it and we'll show you guys how to do that right now. Push the wire out or the clutch cable out away from the actual transmission. And then what we're gonna do after that is start unbolting the actual lever on over here on this side. So just like this. I already started it so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. You know, just a really quick unbolt. Don't lose this guy, okay? So this is under a little bit of tension, so you might have a little bit of problem, but not that much. See? Okay. Recommend just put the bolt, nut and bolt back in here. That way you don't lose it. Push the cable in a little bit. Just like that. Now we're going to get over to the lever and unbolt that. So using the four millimeter Allen and an eight millimeter socket down below. Be very careful because this little nut's super tiny. This guy's very, very chiquito. And then same thing, this three this guy is threaded. Oopsies. There we go. Okay, now that we have it unbolted, we're gonna go nice and slow here. Take it out, don't lose it. Now we're gonna pull the cable out just, just slightly, turn it, turn it clockwise, and pull it out. Careful with this, you don't want this going in, it just makes it a pain, but you can, and you'll see it's slightly greased as well. But yeah, this is the factory lever here. Pop in the brand new Hitchcock's one. Same thing. Turn it over. Push the lever, put the cable in, make sure it slides over. Turn it back around. Push it back in. that thread it all the way down
hand tighten the nut. Once you get it going, put your Allen back in. Counter hold it and then tighten. Give it a couple good tugs there. Tighten this guy a little bit here. Leave it alone. Make sure you put back the, 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 the clutch cable on the other side because if you don't, pushing this in will not work for you. Now that we got the grip installed, tightened here, and then the clutch cable on the transmission itself is already tightened, now we gotta give it a quick test. Now, a little bit more. Yeah, that feels better. So, this is the part where you wanna play around with your clutch adjustment. Um, personally, I like my levers as close as I can, but I can tell right off the bat that the clutch needs to be pulled in a bit more because I have a, like a lot of play here. So I want to have about like a quarter inch to half an inch of play, but right now I have over an inch with no problems until it actually gives. You'll see here, this is not going to give me enough clutch engagement. So I want to make sure I have like a little bit of movement here and then engagement. But no, I have like a lot of movement and then a little bit of engagement. So we want to change that. Um, just because I want my um, my levers closer to the uh, grip, so we're going to do more adjusting for that. That way, it's a just a better experience overall. So you for how your clutch that. adjustment, you can go about this quite a few different ways. You can go about it by using this guy for a really really quick adjustment. You can use this guy, and then you have a third option, this guy over here. I am going to be doing this one here because this is already set and we can decide on where we want it to engage okay so all you do is you need a 12 millimeter wrench and then break loose these nuts okay and what you want to do is you see here well you're going to be if you move it left and right you'll see you'll feel the engagement right there right there is where i want the clutch to start engaging you see that's the amount of play and that transfers over to the handle so for me to get it here where i like it we have to just push this back, pull that back, put that nut where I want it. You'll see it sets, pretty much it sets where that's gonna sit. You'll notice there's no more play here. If I come over to the grip, you see here, and then I have engagement. Grip, a little bit of leverage, and then engagement. That's pretty much where I want it to be personally, okay? For you guys, it's all up to you guys and how you guys want the clutch to engage. I'm pretty happy there, so I'm gonna stick with that. Um, just because I want my grips to be closer to the actual throttle, um, to the throttle or the actual, the lever closer to the grip. That's what I want, and that's where I wanna stay at, and that's my personal Again, preference, you guys can really, really play around with it and find that adjustment that makes you very, very happy and go with it. After that, get back on the saddle and start riding. All right, that's it. Thanks for Hitchcock, Hitchcock's Motorcycles for sponsoring this video. Peace out, and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and that link down below to order your parts from Hitchcock's Motorcycles. Peace out, everyone.